I'm going to create tetraamine copper 2 sulfate molecule in the laboratory. Now this is an inorganic compound with the formula shown here. So this compound is comprised of copper, water, sulfate, and ammonia. This dark blue solid is a metal complex with a faint odor of ammonia. This compound can be, can be produced by adding concentrated solution of ammonia to a saturated aqueous solution of copper sulfate. Now, let's write this out chemically. What's going to happen in the lab is I'm going to take ammonia and let's add it to some copper sulfate. Okay, and there's water present too with all of this. This is going to yield Cu, copper, NH3, that's ammonia, H2O, that's water, followed with sulfate. Plus, an interesting fact, the deep blue crystalline solid tends to hydrolyze and evolve, releasing ammonia upon standing in the air. It is fairly, fairly soluble in water. The brilliant dark blue violet color of tetraamine copper 2 sulfate is due to the presence of the copper ammonia complex ion, as shown here. Now, the dark violet color is used to verify the presence of the Cu2 plus ion, which is the copper ion, in solution. Now, how am I going to do this? What I'm going to do, what you're first going to see is when I mix these chemicals together, the first product that's formed here is going to appear to look to be as a pale blue formation. This is copper hydroxide. So copper hydroxide forms first. Then if I add extra ammonia, excess ammonia, then a dark then dark blue color uh, will form. This indicates the T A C S or tetraamine copper 2 sulfate molecule. So let's write this out. Cu SO4 in aqueous form plus I'm using ammonia solution and if you know what ammonia solution is it's ammonium which is written NH4OH so that's hydroxide which is going to yield this is all aqueous here on the left side it's going to yield NH4 SO4. This is ammonium sulfate plus copper hydroxide. Now this is not the tetraamine copper 2 sulfate molecule complex. So what's going to happen is, is I'm going to add an addition. So I'm going to take copper hydroxide and when you add extra ammonia okay what's going to happen when you add extra ammonia to a hydroxide the hydroxide okay the hydroxide ion OH minus ion will be removed. So excess amounts of ammonia will kick away the hydroxide ion. And what's going to fall in place 
is the ammonia and that's where we get the copper ammonia complex and there's water mixed with it so we write H2O here like that and then of course this is all encased and connected to a sulfate let's head to the laboratory and let me demonstrate how to create the tetraamine copper 2 sulfate molecule To create the tetraamine copper 2 sulfate molecule, I'm first going to add some copper sulfate solution to the test tube. Next, I'm going to add some ammonium hydroxide to the copper sulfate. You immediately see the formation of copper hydroxide. Okay, so that pale blue color you see here, this precipitate is copper hydroxide. Now this dark blue uh, liquid at the top is the tetraamine copper 2 sulfate. Now immediately you see a beautiful formation here of copper hydroxide. Now this very beautiful color you see indicates that we have created the tetraamine copper 2 sulfate molecule. Now to take this next step a little further, the question is, okay, so we brought this molecule into existence, the tetraamine copper 2 sulfate molecule. The question is, can we annihilate it? Well, let's try. What I'm going to introduce is some hydrochloric acid. Now keep in mind, the solution is primarily ammonia or ammonium chloride. Now ammonia reacts greatly with hydrochloric acid. So when I add the hydrochloric acid to the tetraamine copper 2 sulfate, ammonium chloride vapor in crystal form will be produced but we will have annihilated the tetraamine copper 2 sulfate molecule in three two one Now what we have here is a very dense vapor of ammonium chloride. I have demonstrated how to create the tetraamine copper 2 complex and to annihilate it. Now keep in mind, energy or matter cannot be created nor destroyed. So in essence, what's happening here is there's been a, a rearrangement of molecules and atoms and elements. One of the products formed was ammonium chloride 
vapor. And you saw that. It was formed here in the test tube. And as always, thanks for watching.